Out of the thousands who were killed on 9-11, 343 were firefighters. Across the street from the World Trade Center Memorial that opened today is a fire truck with all of their names inscribed on the side. Yesterday, we met a firefighter who was at the site on 9-11 and lost his best friend. And they saw a plane coming down off Lafayette Street, and they knew that's not the normal flight pattern for a jumbo jet down Lafayette Street. And when they heard the bang, the chief said, go ahead, guys, respond. See who you can help. Don't even wait for a ticket. Just go. Nobody returned from my firehouse. We lost four fire trucks. We lost 15 firefighters. And among those firefighters was my best friend. Barrett was off on the morning of September 11th and living in Brooklyn, but that did not stop him from rushing to ground zero. So I, w I reported to my nearest firehouse in Brooklyn. We commandeered a city bus. We said, take us to Manhattan. Because bridges were being evacuated in New York, Barrett's bus did not arrive at ground zero until 11 a.m. I was hoping that I could find somebody. Uh, maybe my best friend, maybe somebody from my firehouse, but that was not meant to be. But I soon learned that rescues were very, uh, recoveries were very important. Saying, why don't you put him in this company? Why don't you? So we put him in both. Barrett acted as a family liaison for his firehouse, which meant when they recovered the body of a fallen firefighter, he went to the family's home to notify them. I gave them a call and I said, I'm coming over. And by the time I got to their house, I, I'd never done anything like this before. By the time I got to their house, uh, they, I must have had dread on my face because they ran over to me. I was there to, to console them, but they ran over and consoled me. They said, Bob, cheer up. You're bringing back our son and our brother so we can bury him with dignity and respect. And I knew from that moment on that that was my mission. While Barrett took pride in giving closure to families, he felt immense sadness for the loss they faced. And I realized that we're only remembered for little things. We lost 343 firefighters, which is just beyond belief. But imagine the experience we lost. We lost 15,000 years of experience, you know. And I only worry about the young guys. Could they recover from that loss of experience? Now, 10 years later, Barrett has a message for others going through tragedy. It's not... It's not what you've lost, but what you have left that counts. We're going to take a commercial break, but when we come back, we'll meet a firefighter from Meriden, Connecticut, who rushed to Ground Zero the day after it happened. We'll also meet a member of the University of Hartford community who was at the World Trade Center that fateful day. Stay tuned. You're watching 9-11, one decade later, from New York City.